Green Log, Entry 1, Ed and Eddie, a comedic masterpiece. Any kid who grew up in the 2000s knows what I'm talking about. But why did we love it? It can't just be nostalgia. It's something deeper. While this isn't an in-depth review, I'll analyze the one element that separates it from everyone else. Let's begin. If there's one word to describe this show, it'd be visceral. According to Google.com, visceral means relating to deep inward feelings rather than to the intellect. These inward feelings can be our gut reactions and our deep primal senses. Like any good program, the Eds satisfy our deepest urges in the best of ways. There are three core tenets of this visceral nature. Expressive visuals, primal sound design, and pain-inducing comedy. In early 2000s projects, the art styles tend to be clean and organized. There are exceptions of course, but your average Cartoon Network program followed the sharp, clean, and consistent outlines of their Hanna-Barbera legacy. The Ed Boys deviated in the best of ways. Color choice was otherworldly. Backdrops were a warm assortment. And character designs were another thing altogether. Simple eyes, odd body features, different colored tongues. It shouldn't work, but it does because of its connected tissue. The show looks like a raw drawing that hasn't been touched up yet, which goes with the whole visceral feeling of the show. This gut-wrenching expression is done through the shaking outlines the slapstick, and even the Ed's running cycles. These incongruities have a punk rebel kind of charm. It's visceral for me because all these elements seem ugly on their own, but come together to make this irregular style kind of charming. Any second you watch this show, your senses feel the subtle madness. So why is the sound design so good? Come again! It has less to do with the effects themselves, but how they are used. The Ed Boys follow the philosophy of the original Tom and Jerry shorts. Ah! Used an extensive reel of sounds with actual punch. The sound teams of both properties selected the best sounds where you hear the impact. They didn't settle for sad excuses for air vibrations. Their sound selection delivers a primal response to the audience. Each effect matches its visual cue exceptionally. All is forgiven. But what good is sound if you don't have comedy to back it up? There are a few shows out there that match the comedic style of the Ed Boys. What makes the comedy work is how it makes you feel. It's painful, visceral, and all the more cathartic. But the show excels in other areas like funny reactions, playful quips, and the occasional fourth wall break. Slapstick is king. This slapstick is done with brute force and no mercy. You feel the suffering the ads go through. My butt! There is no other show out there that satisfies the prime urge of being the living heck out of each other. The ingredient to success is viscerality. Surreal visual design, fantastic sound design, and fantastic slapstick comedy immortalize the ads as an animated classic. That is why, after 20 years, I still love Ed and Eddie and Greenlog. Thanks for watching. We decided to try something a little different. Comment below on what topic we should cover next. We'll see you in the next video essay, right here on Lover of Green Television.